Welcome to this special episode of Inside the Brick Box Lego Community News. Tenth show we've had. Wow. Wow. But that's not the only milestone. Before we get into the show, I've got a few little facts and figures I've got. Eight years ago, I started this channel. Back then, it was actually the Brick 101 Show channel. I started it 2,922 days ago on the 27th of November, 2009. In that time, I have had over a million views, exactly 1,119,012 views. I have, well... Currently, 1,134 subs and 91 videos. But that's not where originally the channel started. My first ever video uh, was it 2009 on the 29th of July. was my first ever Lego review video. That video, if you would like to look it up, is on my Shield Z1 channel. Also, do you have a comment copy on here as well with the lesser views. Um, the Lego Cargo Plane Review. My highest view Lego review is the Lego Cargo uh, Truck 7733 on my other channel, the Shieldsy One channel, with 251,000 views. That is a huge milestone for me. And I'd like to say thank you for everyone out there who has supported me over the years. Also through my few years I've been off doing shows. And also to my sister here and all her fellow friends who have come through and rebooted the channel under its new name. And hopefully years to come we'll be continuing on. So, hey, yeah. Congratulations. So how many, how many years, like, Totally on YouTube. Uh, uh, what year did I start y YouTube? I started 7th of October 2006 was when I s signed up. So, and that was on my Shilzy One channel. Um, eight years ago was when a suggestion came from, from my current, at the time, fellow YouTuber friend. Um, he suggested that I split my Lego reviews off. And 12 months later, I became the first Lego YouTube partner in Australia. So that was that was the hardest thing. And uh, that's, that's a milestone I'll ever always know I've earned in the Lego community here in Australia. So... Whew. That is a big milestone, guys. Big milestone. See now, so, now you needed a party pop and go. Poof, <laughs> oh. I remember a couple of months back, I got one that said, "Congratulations on four years with your channel." It's like, oh, okay. Four. That was four years ago four. that I posted the very first video on on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, I've been on well, YouTube as a watcher since 2006. Yeah. That's a long time. Oops, anyway, we're going to move on just, to the news. Yes, just one thing before we move on. i just got to change something before I bring out screen share. I meant to do this. Lots of cool news. A lot, a lot of cool news we should go through very quickly. Uh, now, which one is it? That one. Okay, just a little, little walk down memory lane before we go. These are all my Lego reviews I first ever did on my dodgy Panasonic DVD video camera. This is nine uh, years ago. Oh, is it nine years this ago? This one, I, I, this one was on top of a cof, uh, IKEA coffee table with. A4 paper over the top to make it white. Same as this one before I started doing some better reviews. So, as you can see, I actually had the Brick 101 name Donkey Yonks ago. 
and that was that was a big milestone and then going on to my other things i did in between exo force i did that did lego construction i did uh, i think that was all the ones i did on this channel but the most things I, I'm, I'm proud about is something what people don't know. Let me just stop sharing that one. I'll have to go into a different one. Mm -hmm. So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Up there. There we go. It's just, it's just a milestone I really would like to share. Uh, where are we? That one. Vlogception. Um, let's get rid of that for a sec. Now, something I've been wanting to share for a long time. Um, if I go oldest. load here we go here we go yes I was the first person to ever do the turntable on a review so that is no, something no. I, that's something what has been copied many times over by other youtubers so that's it for now, guys. I'm sorry I had to share those few little memorable moments there. Yeah. And yeah, no. I would have had a party popper. I would have been like, like one of those little. <laughs> well done. So, so yeah, no, I, 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 I was the true pioneer of the Lego reviews back in the early days, and. Oh, and um, I was so modest. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it's back in the day when there was no support out there for um, us oh, type of Oh, and you had to actually bands. earn um, ads and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And didn't just let anyone have yeah. uh, monetization back in the day. You had to. Uh, thousand thousand yeah. subscribers with um, over a thousand views per day. It was, it was hard to get that partnership and um these days you actually can't get a physical partnership anymore the form i have uh, no, not the way that you had it yeah that's something to be really really proud of okay yeah. that's it on let's get the... on to the show welcome to this Woo! episode inside the brick box lego <laughs> community news and sadly this week there's only two of us. Um, might might have someone might pop in. I don't know, but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> yeah, this week, this week, we'll be talking about Dave Nelts, the next Lego Ideas Kit. Tell you more in a sec. Also, a little leak has come out, and it's not our fault that much more on this episode of Inside the Brick Box with my co-host ABC. Why do you? So, starting off, I'll just get the dock open. Uh, where are we at? Application. Uh, where is it? Oh, damn it. Where is it? <laughs> You've lost the tab already. Oh, I have to go to the whole screen because it's. I've got two apps the same, so it won't bring up both of them. Uh, okay, so what are we going to be talking about? Okay. Hey, Lego ideas, and this <laughs> is the next choice is Tron Legacy Light Cycle. And kill uh, the assholes that voted for other things to start whinging. 
uh, as I said this morning when the first post went up, I said, not another IP. Oh, another IP. Oh, come but on. come on. I didn't mean it looks cool, though. Oh, there was cooler stuff than that, but I think Lego's budget must have been drained out for the end of the oh, year. Well, so many cool that, things but... come out this year. I did call it. I said that the Venice house wouldn't be picked because it was simply too big and that they weren't going to go for the, the medieval windmill thingy or whatever it was, or water mill thing, because it's too big. They weren't going to do um, Power Rangers because... Oh, that was out already. Someone else. Um, yeah. They weren't going to do The Office because that's, like, whilst it's wildly popular, it's still too narrow a... Um, market. Market. Jeep was going to be um, IP and not necessarily easy to get. Mm. Um, what was it? The Quest Builder, whilst very cool, had limited appeal. And then um, when they brought out some of the new creator stuff that we saw um, over the weekend, it had arcade stuff. So I was like, no, they're not going to do the arcade machines. Blues yeah. Brothers, whilst cool, is probably, like, there's nothing, like, with Very Ghostbusters, neat. they did it for, like, the 30th year. Yeah. There was no, um, like, no, whilst there's a really cool model, and it does yeah. have its appeal. At it wasn't going to get picked. And, it, and, and it's a very narrow market, too, because it's like, was it 1970s? Yeah. Was the first Blues Brothers? Yeah. And the, yeah. the big set, whilst it's very cool and, and, you know, was made and has a lovely story behind it, um, they just brought out fun at the beach. So they weren't going to make that one either. So that kind of really narrows it down. Like, I thought it was narrowed down to probably the from the arcade maybe the plane out of all of those well what and about the medieval one too big, too big. just yeah. dumb too quite sizable like the could have been downsized mm. yeah i don't know i don't think you could yeah. downsize no i i think the main reason why that one wasn't done is um it would have involved some new new prints Mm. And I think that they really went at that point. Uh, we're we're uh, not long off an official announcement on, on our other topic. So, uh, ooh. Interesting. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so what do we think in the chat, guys? Um, if I can get back to the chat. <laughs> I can't see anything. What do we think about Tron Legacy? Uh, hey, people pop up when I'm not looking. Yeah, that's what you get for not looking. Yeah, so we've been joined by Benzi and RRB Ninjago. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey, hey. What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Lego Ideas. Well, we introduced introduced the show by uh, announcing uh, um, Adam's uh, big milestone of eight years on this particular channel. Eight years, one million one hundred nineteen thousand and twelve views, one thousand one hundred thirty nine subs, and ninety one videos. Hmm. Plus, this is the tenth show of. Um, Inside uh, the Big um, Community News. Big Box Community News. Too long of a day. <laughs> All right, that's a very long introduction. But anyway. And thank you, RRB, for being a part of those 10 shows. Yes. Uh, oh, don't already 10. Yeah. Already 10? Holy crap. I know, right? <laughs> All right. 10. 10. No, that's the, mo that's the most videos I've made in a row. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, RRB, what do you think about the uh, Tron uh, Lego ideas? Yeah, that's cool. I'll probably I'll probably get it. I um get it. Played what? the game with RRB is cool. I played the game with my friends a few years ago, so hopefully the set uh, is good. Should be original. So. Original. Huh? Tron Legacy. Original. I played the one. That was on. Oh, legs. I was. I thought you were talking about the Tron Cycle. 
I was going to say, have you played the original game? No, no, no. <laughs> I played Tron Legacy on Xbox. <laughs> Like he he he's young. He's a youngin. <laughs> so so, what does Benzie think? Benzie, what what are your thoughts on what was announced for the idea set? Um, yeah. Look, um, I'm on the on the borderline about a lot of these things. So I mean, it's not necessarily that immediately appeals to me, but let's let's just see. Um, you know, when they when release the final thing, I mean, I might update my opinion on it. And, uh, I mean, I'll see what it's like. Honestly, I don't see it as something that I would necessarily buy, but I can appreciate it for its aesthetics. Look very nice. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm the same. I can't, I can't see myself, see myself buying. buying. Echo. Echo. Have you guys talked about the um the modular? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Always when trying to start? jump the gun. When did you start? Uh, ten minutes ago. Ah, okay. All right. We waited for you. Or twenty minutes. Twenty minutes ago. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what is next? So, so is that all? Everyone's felt the same in the chat. What do we think? Let's see. Yeah, I've seen a lot look. of people cringe like like it was when they uh, um announced the the ship in the bottle, like mm. when they announced Voltron. Everyone's always salty about it not being the one that they voted for. <laughs> of yeah. course, it's the way the world is. <laughs> oh, it melted down Oslug today. The salty, salty tears of apples. <gasps> oh, I, was, I I I played it at the beginning beginning of the day. I say let let. <laughs> Whinging begin, and it was non-stop all day, and I was out most of the day. So, mm. Sounds sounds, uh, sounds like it was almost as bad as the Millennium Falcon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. The poor admins on Oslag. Seriously, they've got their work cut out for them at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few other groups I can name as well. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, it, it it's it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do the closing of of, of comments, and the deleting of threads. I've never even friggin' used Oslag. What the hell is that? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> You've never heard of Oslag, jeez. I've heard of it, but I've never used it or anything. What is it? Just a forum site or something? It's just a Facebook. It's on Facebook. Oh okay. It's just a Facebook group, but well. it is probably the biggest Lego related. Facebook group. Uh, yeah. It's the it's the pl place you go when some of your day time dramas aren't on. <laughs> oh, now, now. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay. Um, actually, before we go on to the topic, RB is um biting to actually view. Someone said the word Amazon in the chat. Amazon and Australia flops on first day. <laughs> Wait, is it is it already open? What uh, they they launched it two two p.m. last Thursday, and the whole website just oh didn't okay, work. so it's not actually up yet officially. No, okay, right. They had, they had they got a few things up, and then no one could buy. So <laughs> and. It's not as good as people think it is. Uh, I think that the, the, the trying to rush in too quick before Christmas to catch that last-minute sale market before Christmas, and I think it's going to backfire on them, sadly. So uh, yeah. still no Lego stuff for us on Amazon. It's not like I'm going to ever use Amazon in my lifetime because I don't have the type of cards to buy online. <laughs> That's not necessarily so, a bad thing. Oh, I can't wait. One thing. It's like, I hope it's cheap as chips. I hope it's, uh, you know. We'll pay the usual Australian tax as usual. So, okay, I'll, 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 go, I'll go put RRB out of his thing. Just hold on, hold on your horses, RRB. Wait, I don't think you can show the picture. No, you cannot show the picture. No. 
You can't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't show the picture. <laughs> okay. What? It's official. It's not... official. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, a... it's, no, it's, it's their Lego store's official thing. Yeah, it's but it's a, a leaked official. calendar. It's a leaked calendar. We can't show it. Mario, Mario's posted the last six months early. All the calendars early. I don't know how he gets them, but he gets them. But... Yeah, it's it's still an embargo until two a.m. Yeah, what two a.m.? Can... Our two a.m. But um, we can still talk about it. Mm-hmm. You just can't show the image unless you particularly want your um. Oh, they can try. <laughs> no. no <I> yeah. <laughs> But I think it's should be image already. So uh, you just... every, if you're in the Lego community and you don't live under a rock, mm-hmm. you, you know the image that we're talking about, the one that's been um, going during the rounds of the diner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people have been debating whether it's real or not, if it's a modular or something else. And um, a, a new calendar picture has come out today. That has been uh, leaked early by the looks of it. Yep. And it looks like it is indeed going to be a real uh, Actually, I've got some news about that. It isn't leaked. As much as people say, it was actually started to be handed out at the Lego stores in America. Okay, well then, obviously they handed it out earlier than they should have. Yeah. That image shouldn't it's, be not a, it's not a leak as such. It's I Lego don't... stores doing... Hey Adam, how excited are you? There's a new monorail coming out. Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, yes. 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 Oh. oh come on then. The, wait, 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 wait. Let's, fin- let's finish the first topic first. Yeah, you gotta give them props for having a sense of humor. Well, we're talking about the calendar. It's on the same calendar, so you know, Well let let me let, let me just, just finish finish on, on the thing. Um, after some investigations, we believe it's not an official modular as such. Um, we well, think... as, I said, as I said today, obviously no one else has even seen it, but I said today yeah. that it's a 50s, modu- uh, 50s diner. It's the 60th anniversary of LEGO, which goes back to 1958. I'm assuming it's maybe a special 60th anniversary Create Expert set or something. Yeah, mm. that's what I was thinking. After actually having a good look at it, you could see it doesn't really fit into the theme of the modular series. No. Plus, uh, from, the look, from the look of it, just wait on Benzi. From the look of it, from the picture of research, it doesn't look like it actually has the same modular attachment points as well. Yeah, that's what Ben said. Ben said that today. It doesn't look like it has the uh, technique. Two by one. Because I was actions. looking at looking at the picture so close that I could not see it. Because usually there will be a dead giveaway where they are yeah. on the side and they're not there. So I I I, yeah. I, I think it's hundred percent it's a it's a special edition for the celebration of next year. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I wanna hear Ben's theory. What is what is Ben's little theory? Well, from what we can tell, it's a corner. Um, yeah. There's also the theory, well, the thought where the Ninjago City from last year wasn't a true modular, but it was tagged as a modular. Oh. Yeah. And Critter has just popped up in chat. Hey, Critter, how you doing? Has just said that it does actually it does have the attachment points. Yes, it does. Very clearly does. But. One could argue that it doesn't have the classic um, bases. I have a theory on that. Yes. Oh, sorry, not sorry. I I may have jumped the gun there. Not on the classic faces, but the classic appearance. Because mm. yeah. if you actually have a look a little bit further up, it does have the older style brickwork, but it mm. almost appears that the rest of the building has sort of had a facelift. Mm. To bring it up to that sort of diner's look, but the apartments yeah. on top still have that brickwork. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like a there's a building that sort of. But well, as, as, well, as the wording goes on on it, what we can't show you, 
it does say get the new exclusive downtown dine it does not say modular modular series or anything along the yeah. lines i want to see the brick bank calendar lego brick bank lego challenge uh, i want to see what it said on that because the assembly square was obviously going to say 10th anniversary modular but i want to see what the, <clears throat> the brick bank said on the um, calendar i guess we will find out when the official announcement comes out I, ser I seriously want to read the fine print the got on that it's so 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 blurry so that, oh, that, that means you're probably up at 2 a.m adam <gasps> I'm not staying up till 2 a.m., but I'll find out. I'll see first thing in the morning. That's, that's <laughs> assuming that... Wait, hey, so is the announcement coming that's, out tonight? That's if they do anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's if there is an announcement. Yeah. yeah it might be just, it might be just a embargo, that's all. Yeah. But I've had that before. Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> It's Billsy. Hey. And his camera works. Oh, whoa. It does. The camera, the camera's working good. Woo. I, I like think, it. I think, I, I think Billsy wants a little word in. A uh, word in for what? He's like, oh, I wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're talking about that, that, that image doing the rounds of the diner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, if it's legit or not? Well, uh, uh, yeah, well, can, there's a new image that, that's gone around today of it on a calendar, a Lego store calendar. It's uh, actually the US Lego store calendar. So it pretty much confirms it's legit. Mm. Yeah. It looks like a cool set. But it still hasn't been officially like released or, or announced mm. or anything like that, so... I guess we will wait and see what it says and whether or not they announce it as being the new modular or yeah. it being just an expert creator set. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, all right. So I just I could only find the assembly square one. The assembly square on the calendar said, celebrate the glory. Oh, hell. What the hell, this is a really bad quality. Okay, here we go. All right, it's loading. Oh, celebrate 10 years of modular building with the assembly square. Okay, that was assumed. Mm. So that's what it said. That's what the calendar said for assembly square last year. Mm. Or earlier this year, sorry. So it mentioned that it was a modular. Yeah, celebrate 10 years of modular building with the assembly square, yeah. Mm. But mm. Yeah, th there's quite a lot of question marks with the, the this really, really hugely different style. Yeah, it's and so... Or, or it could be a modular, but it's also going to be a kind of a celebration set at the same time. It could be by both at the same time. Or it could be the start of a whole new series of modulars. That, 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 was, that really was the cool. other theory I was going to say I'm running on too. Because it doesn't have the classic faces. It has modern faces. And it's still got the, it's still got the connectors for it to be a modular. But, um, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll probably find out when, when it's either um, up on the LEGO site or announced by LEGO. Yeah. Uh, it looks cool. Have it's they denied it? The, pretty much the minifigures that throw it off. That's it. Everything else. Is you know? <laughs> yeah, because minifigures have all modern faces with expressions. So. Yeah. Pre-orders. Uh, but I could... Uh, Okay. All right. Here's a question: How many on the panel are, are actually going to get it? Now looking at it, seeing it. Oh, hex yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I will just because I like retro stuff. <laughs> I love it. No. Nah. I'm I'm over the building mine these days. Huh. Yeah. Some people some people take all the fun out of Lego. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it comes down to I love them in my. Uh, we got Critter in the chat who's saying he's deaf, deaf spying too. Making it double wide. Well, it seems like we're going to be waking up tomorrow to an uh, official image, it looks like, at this stage. So. Oh, yeah, I just found it on Reddit. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Hmm. Just don't share it. 
Yeah. But I'm, uh, no I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see if it's a module or not. That's all I care about. I just okay. want to see if it's a module or not. I want to know it's yeah, uh, direction for the modular series or whether or not this is just something special like like the ferris wheel you know that's a expert creator but it's not a modular yeah yeah maybe this is the first direction of a new building series yeah okay uh, i think i think that's enough of that for now or we'll be yakking forever yeah, um especially seeing as we can't guess what guys there's a monorail coming! Hell yeah. <laughs> but you've got a spaceship. And a spaceship! And a pirate ship! And, and a yellow a... castle. <laughs> yeah, yellow castle. All in the same box! Bye. All in the same box and all mini. Mi um, um, miniature models. They look cool. It, ma it makes you think Lego would be sunk without those ships. <laughs> I just think it's fun. So Lego builds up, builds you up, and tears you down. Yeah, That's they funny. gave everyone their monorail in a minute. They could have chosen any of the monorails, but they chose the most popular one on the airport shuttle. Of course they did. Yeah. Savages. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. there was only two. No, there's three. That's three. three. You get the third one wrong. Two, two space one. Mm. Two different space ones. Yeah. And the airport shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. And and from what I was reading on the calendar, actually, I'll go back to it. Yeah, massive troll Lego. Thank you. Uh, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Oh, they always know what they're doing. <laughs> they've given they've given the people what they asked for. We keep asking for monorail and the yellow castle and. Well, but, from, but from the sound, the only way you're going to get it is with purchase. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so, 125 USD. Imagine how much it would be for us. 200 probably. Probably 200 or something, yeah. Oh, yeah, but if you're going to order from lego.com... But, but then again, um, this might it might be um, a thing that will pop up at the Lego store and maybe, might get the Discovery Centre down Melbourne um, as well. I, you know what, I, I would like. I won. I wonder what they'll do for the giveaway. All you need to do is buy yourself a Taj Mahal. That's it. <laughs> mm, true. I would. True. Laugh, I would laugh so hard. All the new modular. If they made a new mold for a tiny little monorail track just to spite us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That would be funny. Or they release it in Friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah that that yeah. that light blue color. Yeah. Um, yeah. did you did you see the other day, um, Billsy, um, the new city sets? They got the new, um, in the mine one, they got the new roller coaster track. In oh, no, no. In, the, 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 in one in of the Grove. Black Panther sets. The Black Panther official image just came out today, and one of the Black Panther sets comes with, with the track. I've seen, track. I've seen the Black Panther one. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Someone, someone what colour? What colour? I'll what show it. It's light bluish, light bluish grey. I'll show it. I'll show it. I'll screen share now. So it sounds like wow. it sounds like Lego was on track. <laughs> right on track. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, uh, maybe it's not official yet. Hang on. Maybe they haven't updated it. Let's see. New. They've added all the Ninjago movie stuffs. All right. Plus, but they looked official to me. So maybe they're on. The, what was that website you were on the other day, um, Adam? Uh, what's the name of it? Like oh, okay, they are official because just do good shit. All right, um, here we go. Frick show. I know you don't like them, but it's the first one I saw. All right, here we go. I uh, just a note to everyone: the reason why I don't like the Frick show, they start their channel exactly a month to the day after I started this channel. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, that looks that looks so cool. Oh yeah, light blue sky. That rhino is sick. Holy crap. So we got so we got dark bluish grey, light bluish grey, and what was the colour in the Joker's oh, isn't um, it, isn't it, Was it multiple good? colours or something? Or is purple, it purple, purple, yeah, or something? Yeah. purple, green or blue. Yeah. I like the rhino. Yeah, that is really cool. Oh shit. <laughs> that is awesome. Cherie, you gotta get I know it's not a dinosaur, but it'll look cool in your dino park this way. That it would. 
I wonder if you can modify it with a piece to make it into a triceratops. Oh, yeah, you probably could. Easy. Probably could with <laughs> a different, different technique. I'm assuming it uses a technique piece in the front. Yeah, because these probably. legs are the, the only big molded pieces on the on the on the build. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk about going yeah, that, that is so cool. Oh my just goodness, that is so. Cool. Stickers on it. Oh, yeah, just crap. Cool. excuse my language, but I think I might have to get this set. Yeah, that cart looks really cool too, man. It's using the Nexonites, um, the bots uh, bodies. That's really cool. Oh, mm. cool. And then here's the other one. This is uh, what is this called? Royal Talon Fighter Attack. Cool mini figs, but not as interesting as the other one to A Falls, I would assume. I mean, a lot of A Falls are interesting. Is that, do, do, does he have his Quinjet? Uh, I don't know what this is. Is this is the Quinjet? No, no, that's not Quinjet. That's oh, okay. There's only two sets. So Quin what? Quin Quinjet was te technically Avengers. No, oh, that's no. The true story behind the Quinjet. It was actually right. invented and by the Black Panther, and um, Shield stole the design. Oh, this set is. Where, where's the backstory to that one, Adam? You have to look at look at look it up in um, the comic books. Go. Cool. This set is so uh, cheap, twenty dollars US. So that'd be either thirty or forty for us. Thirty, forty. We got a question in the chat. Does it look like the armor will come off the rhino, or it's just? It's, no, it's, it's all, brick built. It's all it's built brick in. Brick built. Yeah. It's all, all built. Yeah. And it's an exoskin. So these are using. Know. See, these are the um the cars, the cars in front of the bodies of like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So going back to that rail. That's obviously got no turns. That one, I'm sure I saw a turn in the mine one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is yeah, a yeah. mine one. And then you've got this the dips, so dips in, in the Joker Manor set. So they will be able to say, so you'll be able to make a proper truck out of it. Yeah. My question, will they have it on um, bricks and pieces or are they going to do what they usually do and not let it come out for a while? Yeah. <laughs> hey, flash pants in the chat. Douglas McBricken in the chat. Hey ho! I can see this set being like a, a really just just for that track. Even the Rona's cool enough. The track will add people wanting to buy it just for that. Yeah. Actually, hundred hundred percent, I will be buying the six. I need the Black Panther for my Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really good set. It. Like because I, I I I've got was it uh, Black Widow? I got uh, Thor. I think only only one of the originals I don't have is Captain America. I'll have to hunt him down. Um, I've got Hulk. Everyone knows I've got Hulk and I've got Iron Man, who is my favourite Marvel character. Hey, so, Rockland, you know how we were talking the other day, how I just all of a sudden got like a love for trucks? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the Mac Technic? Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, oh, you're man. slow to the boat. We're talking about that last week. Yeah, but I don't talk to you often enough. How good is it, though? You we getting saw, it? We, we showed yeah, it. I, don't, I don't even like Technic, but I'm going to get that. We showed it on Friday. Oh, same, same. We showed it on right. Friday, and we said, Billsy is yeah. definitely going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, attending to schoolies on Friday night. <laughs> you truly. That, that, would, that would have been a bit of a clean-up after that one, Billsy. <laughs> oh, man. It's it's every night. Because it's two weeks straight. Every night, it's it's not a clean-up. It's a, it's a, it's a... Uh, apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Just wait for news. Did, 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 did I have a riot when you come through? Nah, man. They've been they've been <laughs> too well behaved this year. Like the worst story to come out of surface this year was a guy lit his fart on fire and burned his leg. Oh, oh my god! I, I thought I thought that, the hotel one was the worst. Smashing no, the hotel I'm sorry. Room. That his he, his inside information to the hotel one that was all paid for and stunted by YouTube. It was actually the Janoskians. Uh, it wasn't schoolies. It was the. It was all set up by the Janoskians. Ah. Uh, so. Way, way to way to go. Give schoolies a bad name, hey. Oh yeah. So you you watch. Give it two or three weeks. That'd be like an amazing edited, you know, insane video. Mm. Oh, I suppose there was that guy that got king king hit, but that wasn't that wasn't nice. technically a schoolie. Nice. That's excellent. Really good. <laughs> But yeah, I'm oh, wow. talking about none of you. None of you guys, you don't buy or, or collect Technics, do you? I found my old man does. 
Oh, I need to get rid of heaps. I've got so I'm just gonna put on Gumtree, I think. I found so much I don't want. I've got a lot of technique. Yeah, I, I found a few bits and pieces. I found two RC cars I forgot I owned. <laughs> oh. They 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 they're quite popular for their motors. Oh yeah, I don't want them. I don't any, um, is it like the green and the um mm -hmm. the like green and yellow one or something? Oh, those ones, right. I thought you were talking about, like, old races sets. No, no, no. I was telling Shree the other day, we had to empty a closet. I had to get into one of the closets, and I found so many sets I didn't know I had. <laughs> what? <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> like, heaps. <laughs> How do you not know you had them? Do you just forget you bought them? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, you know, I, and I do it all the time. I, I remember buying the Dragster, the truck trailer and Dragster, and I bought another one the other day, thinking, oh, yes, I always wanted to buy that. Then when I went yeah, I've got two now. Oh god! Let me let, let me put let me put it in one way for you, Billsy. What's that? Um, oh, that's not it. These are so I, these are doubles too. Ghostbusters and Rocket. <laughs> oh god! That's why they're up here. They're doubles. I forgot I had. <laughs> Slow clap. Yeah. Billsy, Billsy, this, this Billsy. Is my, this is my for sale table for now. I'm just getting the bigger set, so just get it out, so I can swap or buy. But but your but your 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 um. Thing of shame is not as bad as Billsy's and Benzies. No, 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 no one can, but no one can compare to that. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've actually got some more I need to put in storage now. Whoops. Yeah. Now you got a good collection. I'm just stupid and buying what I didn't think I owned. Uh, that, that, that's a good topic. How many how many times does people buy things more than once because you shoved it somewhere away safe? Away from prying eyes or hiding them from the wife. <laughs> and then next thing you know, you've bought three of them. Now, I've done this myself. I wasn't hiding my purchases from my husband or anything like that. But I had already got two of this set. And I thought that I had the other the other kind from the same line. Mm. Yeah. So I, bought, I went and bought the wrong one. <laughs> Uh, luckily, oh. it's something that I can just change up the faces and it's all cool anyway. But, um, yeah. Boy, was my face red when I came uh, home. Jeffy's um, trolling, trolling the chat. Jeffy Who Dragon. Is? Jeffy Dragon. Oh, the Bailey. Bales. <laughs> the Bales, man. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Billsy's here. <laughs> so that's yeah. funny. Yes, yes, he's ready for all the I told you so is when everything is officially. So ready. so obviously I'm 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 very late to the game for this Mac truck. When's it due out? New Year. January release. Yeah, January. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. It's first the first of the releases to come out. I'm 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 a little bit you know on the fence with that Mac Mac truck. I think it's too um uh, pre-built if you excuse the term yeah okay i get you yeah but i mean a lot of the tech like look at the porsche a lot of the i'm, lot more, of the in, I'm mm. more i'm more interested to um modifying it making it drivable because there's no motors with this version of um the truck so that's going to be the fun bit i'm going to be doing to it i mean the, nothing, nothing said, the, the garbage truck version is kind of cool too Mm. Uh, I mean, that being said, there isn't an official instructions for motorizing the Porsche either, but people have done it, so it's definitely oh, possible. Man. And it looks, yeah, they've done good jobs on it too. Well, well, I'm hoping when I motorize them, I'm going to put my um, Mindstorm brick into it so I can run it Bluetooth. So that'll be interesting. Maybe, maybe, I'll, the, maybe I'll keep the, um, what, the RC car and use that motor. That might work somehow. So, yeah. See, I can't get enough of it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, I've I've got that uh, that night that nitro truck sitting in storage that I really want to put together. Yeah. Any other news? Yeah. Is there any other news? Sorry, I was uh, reading the, the chat. Ah. Uh, well, some Australian news. Another round of shows in a new show by Ryan McNaught. 
And yes, I've seen April's that. April's go mad. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, two different ways people can go mad about that one. Hmm. Would it be any different to the other one, though? Adding on to, was it five now? Good on him. Five, five different shows, and uh, I, I've got to say this one out loud. It is killing the AFOL shows, especially in, in major centres. You think, though? Yes, the Ryan McNaught effects. It is, sadly. So... Uh, I had to get that one out. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone goes quiet about it, but uh, yeah. personally, 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 I, I, I think it's time. Gives it a rest for a while. Um, his shows are really making our shows look crap. No, then but our no. shows. Not but, yeah, not really. But his shows are not kids um, orientated like our AFOL shows are usually. Okay, are. okay. There are two totally different styles of yeah. show for yeah. a start. Oh, that's two a lot more expensive too. Show. And there is room in the market for both styles of show to be out there. Um, uh, it's the promoters of his show and mm. the tactics that they're using and the way that they're conducting themselves that is making the impact on the market. Yes, the market is already somewhat saturated because everyone's like, Lego, 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 Lego. And, you know, we've not had another Lego movie. We've had a flop of a Batman movie. We've had a, you know, okay with the Ninjago movie. Yeah. Oh. But we've not had a resurgence of, you know, kids being really, truly overly excited. Mm. Mm. Um, Wait, so, so what's the um? Someone explain what's the issue with Ryan McNaught? The issue, the yeah, issue just... is that Ryan McNaught shows are going to places where there are established shows. So, for example, for example, Canberra, when Canberra had their show, Ryan McNaught was around. Um, Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Ryan McNaught was around the school Bruce holidays Madden. prior to it. Um. Same thing, uh, this school holiday's coming up, Melbourne. Here's there the whole school holidays. It's and there's like prime prevention time. Business is booming. Uh, yeah. And he's got he's got two major shows, plus he's got his Towers of Tomorrow all touring concurrently. Yeah. Now one of the one of his shows, um, I think it's the Brickman is going overseas. No, one is the world is going over to New Zealand. Yeah. Going over to New Zealand, I've heard rumours that one of his shows is going over to Asia. I don't know when, but um, and then you know, it's sort of like a, a, a collective sigh of relief that his show had gone over to New Zealand. That it wouldn't be three shows all touring at once. But remember, he's got two shows though. Well, he's got three. He's got the one that goes through the museums, which is Towers of Tomorrow. Yeah. He has his Brickman experience, which has been touring for quite a while now and has, you know, doubled up on places already. Mm. And then he's got his um, Wonders of the World. Mm. Now, you know, they're all excellent shows. Um, nobody can argue that they've got good models. It's interesting. Oh, for sure. It's, you know, it's it's a good show. But, you know, if... If you just go to these places at different times of the year instead of trying to squash the AFOL community, which is where he's come from, mm. um, you know, surely he must be aware of, you know, the impact of what, what his promotion is doing to local shows. We're talking about Brick Pension that's been around for more than a decade. Um, you know, uh, they used to see growth every year same thing with canberra same thing with sydney pretty much all, all your majors are all seeing some kind of impact from rhyming north rhyming north was even there over in western australia in perth the school holidays prior to um bricktober so it's been a pattern all year but is this his um is this his source of income or 
It's, oh, he, he it's makes one, more than that his, source of income. Yeah. It's one of his income streams. So he also does, you know, other stuff with corporates. Mm. He does stuff for Lego itself. Mm. Um, you know, it's not his only income stream, but obviously, you know, it, I don't blame him for cashing in on, you know, what's a lucrative um, thing to do. You know, yeah. being, being, being the... Um, Diplomatic comment. Yeah, yeah? I, I I understand why he's doing what he's doing, but I think that his promoters are being unnecessarily aggressive yeah. in a market that has room for both kinds of shows to exist. Yeah, well, because they're both totally uh, different shows too. Yeah, they're totally different shows. But the thing is, is that his promoters are pushing him as kid friendly shows when they are not kid friendly shows, not yeah. little kids. They're not little kid friendly shows. If if you go 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 in the forums where um, on Facebook and or on their chat there, you go through and see all the parents complaining hmm. that it wasn't a kids friendly show. I, I have heard. And they spent all this money going to a yeah. show and all I've this. I've heard personally a lot of complaints um, where there's been deliberate market confusion. Um, his promoters have deliberately targeted. Uh, and I've I've seen it in Google. Like I'm not making this up. Where they've deliberately targeted ads so that their ads pop up when somebody searches things, a search term keywords that are related to um, shows that pre-exist. Um, I saw it with the Gold Coast. Okay, then, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. But then do you, do you bring that to the line of is that him being cheeky or is that his PR team being very smart? Oh. Oh, it, it's his PR team doing their job, but yeah. you know, at the same time, the Apple community is where he's come from. The Apple oh. community helped him to get to where he is. And he's done nothing for him back. Well, no, he has done a lot back for the community, but this feels like, like, it's like when YouTube was new and 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 people started getting like um, endorsements and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, and, and going going on to Hollywood and stuff like that. People were you know, so now to the cause, um, and you know, not you know, leave, basically leaving the community for money. That's that's what it feels like to a lot of people who you know have looked up to him, look up to him, and, and um, you know, seeing him as somebody you know uh, important in the community, and now he's just it, it just looks like he's going after the money. And that may not be the case from his personal viewpoint and what he believes. It's just what you, yeah. Um, but it's the perception that's going out into the, um, the community. And if he doesn't want it to be like that, then maybe he needs to think about the way that his promoters are conducting their shows. Like, it, yeah. he doesn't need to have his shows hitting before these major shows happen. He was going after and his shows were still successful. He yeah, was now, out. Jerry, Jerry, can I just, just stop, stop, you, stop you for a second? Um, a lot okay. of people here are from the US. He is a, a certified Lego professional yes. for Australia. So yes. um, there was just a little bit of comments in the chat. I just uh, need to phrase this. Um, he was the first person in Australia to ever get the certification for it. So back to you, ABC. Uh, that's okay. Uh, um, yeah, so I, I can understand a lot of the community are, are upset about the way that things have been done this year because I'm pretty sure that um, in prior years when he first started, he wasn't going to places before the shows. He was going after. Mm. And that's no big deal. Like That's not such a big deal because then he he's, you know, if he goes after, then he's riding on the show that came prior. But it doesn't seem to go the other way for the for the Afro run community and charity. Like, I mean, this is this is impacting people who are running charity events for for God's sake. You know, where where do you draw draw the line on you know um, what's the word I'm looking for? What, you know, where do you draw the line as to you know, um, when you've been a part of a community for such a long time, where do you draw the line? Where is it fair to well, you know, 
money is money. He's got to make his ends meet. That's well, how he's going to play. I, I appreciate that and I understand that, but he can still make his money just as much by not doing this. Like he was making it before. I mean, obviously, I can't sit here and go, oh, here's all his facts and, you know, figures and whatnot. But, um, yeah. I'd from what I saw, too, he did a, um, from what I saw, he did a show. Oh, he was actually in Sydney, Sydney Harbour for like a few months, actually, in the start of this year. And, um, he was in this brand new, like building that they had just built on the Sydney Harbour, and he was having his show there for like two months. And um, it was it was the one as the world one. Oh, the the I Triple C. Yeah, the brand new building they built, and and he was in there. So it's this big, big prestigious building, which obviously not a lot of kids are going to go to. You know, because it's 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 so you can't get parking in Sydney Harbour. You got to catch a train in there. You can't get parking in Sydney City at all. So, mm-hmm. um, it, it's something that maybe they go on the weekend. But he was there for two months, so it was in the school holidays last the start of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, he was in this big prestigious building. But when you go to a show for a lug, it's always in like some school hall or something like that. Also, so, it's it's very rare that you you know see them in a in a big place, which is more kid friendly to be in a school hall because that's you know that's not that's that's your target audience. Yeah, <laughs> and then, uh, I guess one of the biggest problems that I've seen is that uh, a lot of, of his customers, people who have gone to his shows, thought that they were other shows from that area. So you know, because there's an established show in that area. They thought, oh, Lego show. We'll take the kids to that, thinking that it was like a log based show. Yeah. And then finding out that it was just big models and the kids got bored within five minutes. Yes, they do have activities for the kids to do, but they're very structured. They're very um, specific. Yeah. Uh, I know his Brickman experience has like a free, free play area for the kids, but in some respects it's limited in what pieces there are there would you would you class his shows as more of not for AFOL, but more of a like going into a museum or a art museum or something like that would you class it as more of that kind of style it's definitely um it's definitely presented like a museum style uh, very similar to like his cows of tomorrow mm-hmm. um stuff yeah, the Towers of Tomorrow was definitely more a museum art gallery type experience. Yeah, because, yeah, like, I don't know if a lot of a folks would go to his shows. I would say it's more of people who maybe seen them on, seen him, because he has done advertising on uh, radio here mm-hmm. for that Sydney show. I remember he was on the radio for advertising and... Um, Maybe it's more of people who, oh, okay, he's built this big, uh, what did he build, a rocket ship or something? He built this big rocket ship, I want to go see it. And that's yeah. the kind of people, yeah. And that's kind of. fine. I mean, yeah, you know, so, some of his big bills do hark back to, you know, the days of the 80s of the really big bills. Yeah. And uh, you know, average Joe, like you or me or, you know, Billsy over there, if he ever built something big. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with, with his Lego that he buys three times. Um, <laughs> you think I'd have enough to make a nice mock by now too. You probably do. Um, you know, the ordinary folks like you or I just simply would never have the parts or the money to, to back nah. you know, that big size. And yes, Lego does have programs where they do support lugs to do big projects, but you still got to pay for the bricks. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yes, Ryan McNaught pays for his bricks, but he's also a business where, you know, most lugs are not in the business of being a business. Most of them are charities. Does he pay for um, all of his bricks? Hmm? Does he pay for all of them? Yep. Yep. As far as I know, yes. Lego doesn't give him some kind of discount for being... Of course a... he'd get buckets of discounts. Of course he gets a discount. Otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not that much discount. 
he he's not wasting He's the right. only one in he's Australia not, that's an official Lego builder. I guarantee he gets boxes for Yeah, pennies. but he probably, he probably just gets a, gets a wholesale rate, that's all. Yeah, yeah, because he'd be get better than wholesale. Gold. He'd yeah. be ordering amounts. And see, that that's the other thing is like... Put it this way, right? You look at it like he's an ambassador. Mm -hmm. They would give him what he wants because he's an ambassador. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's no money there. So, um... See, yeah. I, I would compare him to, uh... Bilzy, you maybe heard of EA Game Changers? Of course. I get... Yeah. Yeah, they get they get given like Everything. say money for in game purchases from EA. I would assume it's the same kind of thing for him yeah. to sponsor the Lego brand. It would be, yeah. It'd be the same yeah. as it'd be, it'd be almost the same as as record labels giving me music. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm pretty you know sure he doesn't get free stuff. He get he's got way too much not to get something for free. Because how much does Lego cost? Like, if you build that rocket ship, how many parts has that got? It's like 10 cents a piece for whatever amount of parts. That's a huge... Okay, but you've also never been a part of Lug Bulk, have you? I know it's a discount. You've told me about it, so... <laughs> oh, well, you know, that, that's but as much as most people know. So it's it's even, in a, it's even in a lug or... Was. Yeah, he's a mug. He's oh, okay. in mugs. And this is probably the, the bit that, you know, makes... Some people. No, we're talking about the brick man, not Jang. Ah, that's um, another story again. <laughs> yeah, that's another completely different story again. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, he he's been in the Mel Melbourne Lego user group for a long time. So yeah, it's I don't know. It is it's it's just it's it's all subject. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, I, I just find it amazing how the Lego community has so much drama. It's freaking toy. Oh my god. Yeah. It's yeah. like any community. But you know, at, at the end of the day, there it's is room. Toy. I mean, come on. Lego presentations. I mean, um, you've got Cal, Cal, um, Cal Frost with uh, his photograph. You know, his like gallery photographs plus models kind of style of show. That's a different kind of style of show again. And, you know, there's room in the market for different kinds of shows, but, you know, I don't know. It just just, just feels like there's some dirty tactics going on that are unnecessary. Can I just jump in there for a sec? I've just had a question from uh, mm -hmm. Douglas in the chat. Uh, Douglas, this is the status of my Porsche. I have not had the chance to do that for the past three months or so. <laughs> I have been full on with work and I'm mostly doing a cert three in business administration. Oh. So hopefully oh, God. February, March, I'll be back at it. But I've also got a Commonwealth Games commitment, so it may not be until late, until after April when I can get it finished. So Damn. It's how, is your dance, how is your dance rehearsal going for Commonwealth Games? <laughs> it's more than just a dance rehearsal. Hmm. <laughs> Are we going to see you on TV? Um, all I all I can say is keep an eye out on the um, nipple court. Well, <laughs> almost, almost. Keep keep an eye on the gymnastics and uh, basketball. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll look out for the guy who's giving, flipping us the bird. Uh, <laughs> I am not allowed to do that, sadly. Sorry to disappoint you there, Arabi. Yeah. <laughs> you're such, you're such, you're such too. You're too, you're too good, man. You get some rebel in you. <laughs> Pretend like to scratch an eye or something towards the camera. You know, <laughs> one of these ones or something. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I, th I, th I think the most rebel I could be was probably would probably be putting a bor bee in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Now, for those who wonder what Boralby is, he's the uh, he's mascot. the Commonwealth Games mascot. He's the Benzie <laughs> Mini Me. Yeah, uh, he's a blue <laughs> koala. Yeah, basically. <laughs> blue koala, and he turned blue because he fell in the water. No, he was already blue, but his nose turned red because he was surfing so much. <laughs> Wait, so what are you doing on the basketball court? Are you going to... 
go up against? It's going to be a Jordan. cheerleader. You know, Adam's probably not far off from the uh, truth there. Oh, Lord. You're, you're a cheerleader? Uh, eh, let's just say it may be one of my many responsibilities. What? I thought you were a volunteer. What the hell? Isn't a cheerleader like a trained kind of profession? <laughs> He's helping them with their pom-poms. E- everyone, <laughs> every, everyone there is going to be a bit of a cheerleader. Uh, I gotta, I gotta keep an eye out on the on the TV. Hey, Benzie, are you doing all your stuff through the TAFE the TAFE stuff? Yeah, I'm yeah. got TAFE on TAFE online for both of them. Yeah, yeah, I um, I'm doing their something tomorrow. They got some event on for part of that. I'm going to work it out with the music. Cool. Yeah, I'll be there behind the scenes, watching the cheerleaders. You know, uh, just uh, just make make sure they don't have any animals there. No, no, no! It's all in studio. Oh, good. Because yeah, I was yeah, saying, if they're going to have any cows there, they'd be dancing to the music. Oh, <laughs> oh, that just oh man! After the show for the first time to come out. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say, if they had any four-legged, other four-legged animals there, you just have to make sure they're not sheepish. No oh, dear. Yeah. It's 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 not me. Or this show could go to the dogs. No, it's you. It's you. Woo-hoo. Too bad you couldn't like fit a barbary pun in there. But Barabi, whatever the shit thing's called. Mm. No, I, I just take oh. I just take too pun much punishment. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at our stream. Just went down to no viewers. <laughs> You're welcome. It's like when Gandalf starts talking. And oh, shall not pass. And talking. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. Pass. Uh... Send the hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 God. Send the hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 God. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Uh, hmm. but tell me, uh, why is all the rum gone? The what? 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 The what? <laughs> but tell me, why is all the rum gone? We're what? off to see the hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, we're getting silly now. Are we? I've done? still got vodka. Are we done? With the music? <laughs> Is there yeah, any more news? Yeah. That's all right for now, unless you've got anything I didn't pick up on. No. We, we already said that we're going to Cross Harbour, haven't we? Yeah, that's all news. Hell. You're coming to Cross Harbour, aren't you, R.I.B.? We shall see. We shall see. What's, it's not good enough. What's the I date for that one? one? i got my eye on you. Uh, what is the date for it? Because I might even be in Sydney for that. Or down that way. Sydney. Closer than here. Um, it is the 20th and 21st of January. Of January? 20th mm-hmm. and 25th of January. Yeah. Oh, I come back up home on the 19th. Oh, bugger. Oh, Damn that's it. the day after my birthday, Benzie. That's set up, Daddy. What? Uh, Sorry, I was reading chat. I'm sure for the following week I'll see many iPad videos. <laughs> Are you kissing my iPad? I don't want to do that. Come on. <laughs> now, now, I, I spend my money on Lego. I can't be spending all my money on expensive video. Yeah, equipment. JP Dragon, we know you got, you're going down to um, Brickvention. I know you can't come to cost. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out who's actually going, because I, 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 I know five people, no, no, six people. Uh, that's better than five people. Is that other than the fa- our family? No, that's our family. Oh, <laughs> oh. our family plus one. Oh. Oh well, 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 well. We know, we know. Um, three people are going, but they've got no choice. I only know three people. 
I might consider giving you something for static display if you wanted. Hmm? I might have something for static display if you're interested. Okay. I'll have well, to we're waiting. organizers have planned. Yeah. RB, you going? You showing? What? To the coughs? Not set in stone yet. I can see what I'm doing at that time because it's two months away and I've never planned ahead for anything. So it's about time to start. Yeah. You, you, you should take your girlfriend on a holiday. Ha! We're all going on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't say that the Taj Mahal was already on back order after the first hour or something like a shopping home. Yeah, that's first an hour. hour. I knew someone would come up with something. God damn. Oh, oh, oh. Um, that was the other thing I read online with the Millennium Falcon with the the special VIP card. Uh, mm. From the sound of it, it's been extended through to the end of December because of the late running of the next round of sets coming out. Wow. Yeah. Right. So that was another one. I'm glad you said something about Lego store. Yeah. Is there anything else before we go? Uh, somebody, was that, Miss Amy said, do you guys talk about the new Marvel Lego game? Well, I'm not what, Marvel? We don't talk about games here. If it's, not, if it's not real Lego, we don't talk about it. It is real Lego. It's not a game. It's real yeah, Lego. But Lego but it's it's people Lego. Lego. You talk about dimensions, Adam. Yeah. yeah but that is real Lego. That well, is a game. It's real Lego. Hectic. Really? It's real Lego and it's digital Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it, Lord. If, if it was a game that comes with things like this, I would be interested in it. <laughs> Oh, so 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 that means you need to pre-order it. <laughs> there was someone selling um a mass amount of dimensions on Gumtree yesterday. I seen. Yeah, probably all the ones I've scored from by um. EV. It was the base. It was the base, and like ten Batman movie ones for like fifty bucks. It was next to nothing. Mm. Hey, the truck for Miss, us. Miss Sheree. Miss Miss. No, it was you. Sorry, Mrs. Shuri. Um, okay. Toys R Us mm -hmm. are scammers. They upped the price of the Ninjago movie Wave 2 set. Look at this. Look how cheap it is on Lego Shop at Home compared to what they had. I paid 127, 20% off. It was 160. I knew that price sounded wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's really 140. And look, this is 30. And this is 90, and they had it for 100. They had this for 40. What the hell? You should write, a, you should write a complaint email to them. I could have got this for like $105 if it was actually the real price. Mm. Scammers. Grubs. Yep. Wow, well, I, knew that, I, knew that, off, I knew that price sounded wrong. I knew $160 sounded wrong for that shark. Them, them markups. Oh yeah, they, they used to do it. They used to do it to the US every year, but they don't do it anymore. They stopped it a few years ago. Hey, hey, Big W did it last year. They marked up some sets. What um, set? Oh, especially in the Friends line, there was. A oh yeah, they set, did. They did. Sets, they, they put a ridiculous price on them. They marked the Friends, the Stephanie's parents' house, for like 150 when the retail was 100. I remember that. It was, it was stupid that. because I. I walked in there. I was after one of the was it the arcade ones for the um, yeah um, the 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 oh damn it can't think of the series of brands. Well, the, the thing we recommended retail is that it's just that it's recommended. But but they so, usually do it the exact same. I've, what the hell? That's just scamming me for my money. Yes. And it's still the same. Oh god. Is it TRU in Australia that's in trouble or just the US branch? No, it's the just US. the US branch. Australia and the Asian market are completely separate. Hmm. Well, not the same. Not affected. That hurt. Thank you, Kudaras, you grubs. 
appreciate the hard work you put in. Just send them an email. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll leave. But it's like, come on. It's yeah. really. When, 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 when has Toys R Us prices been cheap? But they've always been the same as retail. I've never seen the mark up a set. That's the first time. Mm, sometimes they're more expensive a little bit. Yeah. That is. Un- but, but that's $20. Come on. Anyway, that's all. I mean, I personally miss when we used to be able to walk in Myers. Myers would give us discount automatically for any sale. Yeah, <laughs> probably because you went until they changed the staff around. Then probably because you went in there a bit, didn't you? No, they shut. They actually shut the counter down. The toy department at the Myers at Marichal. Uh, That's right. what they did to us. There's a lot of places. That, yeah, a lot of. A, a they lot of places shut the that counter, don't have. I said, not the department, the counter. The counter so, department. So all the all the staff were redistributed around the store. Hey, uh, hey, 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 back back to overpriced Lego. Uh, Jason Millian said in the chat, "If you end up coming to Australia for vacation next summer, you guys will have to make a list of Lego you want me to bring." Well, oh, you. don't open that. That's a Pandora's box for you, man. You don't want to do that. <laughs> don't do that. You probably need need to bring a ship over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll they'll shake you down at customs. <laughs> check, check your import um limitations before you do anything. It'd be like cigarettes, no more than a hundred pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think once something's over a thousand dollars recommended retail mm. you're supposed to declare it. I thought it was that, ten. Hey? I, I, I thought it was ten. No, ten dollars or ten thousand? Ten thousand. I know it's ten thousand in cash. No, th- when it when it's a retail product, it's um over a thousand now. Yeah, yeah. Once it's over yeah. a thousand, um, oh, that that doesn't count. Yeah. Things like if you open a box, like if you if it's an open box, then it's counted as secondhand goods. And then it doesn't count. That's why you get a lot of apples will actually open it that they need to make when they go home. Uh, because, you know, also it takes up less room in your luggage. Mm. But also... Um, but is that, that only going to be sent in? Like, that's if you send it into Australia, or is that, like, if you bring it in back from a holiday, so to speak? If you bring it in back from a holiday, you're supposed to declare it. Yeah. Um, but funnily enough, um, you remember Bruce, who had all the Star Wars mini yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they stopped him. So, border, border Patrol stopped him and said, "You have anything to declare?" And he goes, "Lego." And and like they laughed at him and waved him through. <laughs> it's because it's because Star Wars isn't worth anything, so it really wasn't over a thousand dollars worth. <laughs> Ouch! Wow! <laughs> 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 All right. Yes, Jason, a thousand dollars, sadly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the rules are at this point in time. Yeah. And yeah, actually declaring, actually de- declaring cl- correctly and and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know how. Any, I actually have any to. any any way it comes into Australia, if 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 it's an item over a thousand dollars in product, it must be declared, and you must pay any GSTs or dues on them. So. Yeah, unless you're planning on taking it back home with you. Yeah. But why would you bring it into the country to take it back? Mm. I guess running away from all those dangerous animals can get boring. <laughs> all those drop bears. It's, it's the same with um, back when the old system of the log. We had to pay, um, was it GST plus, was it 5%, 10%, somewhere around there? Let's pay ten percent plus postage plus duty, whatever the duty. Yeah. Was. That make somewhere, sure, somewhere between make sure the five and ten months. Make sure you don't accidentally bring a um UCS one hundred one seven nine money back and with you in the suitcase. It'll be opened, and you will lose your investment. <sighs> oh, 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 Transferred from US dollars. Ooh. You would That's lose money. money. 
you would lose. Yeah, no, 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 no. If you bought it in seal, you bought it from the US at US price. No, I mean, I mean, the, I mean, would, like it come, would, would it come under the fresh show? I mean, bringing the original Falcon and and bringing it sealed because it'll be opened in customs and your investment would. Yeah, I mean, it's going to get wrecked because they're, they're going to unseal it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Make sure you don't accidentally bring that across. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't even know if it'll fit in a suitcase, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're so, going for the news. We are done. We're dusted. Um, thank you for RIB finally turning up. <laughs> Uh, I think he was trying, trying, trying to um, stuff me up this week. Always think he's going to come in at a certain time. Uh, yeah, he came later yeah. to the yeah. Right. Thank, thank you for Benzi for dropping in suddenly. Hey, I, 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 you know, I take after the drop base. Never know, never know when you're going to see him. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Uh, and long, my long lost brother from another mother, Bill Z. Oh, what's up? Bill Z! <laughs> um, and a big thanks to ABC, my sister, for coming along. Oh, everybody else gets their proper name said. I get ABC. Jeez. It's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> I can you, can, you can spell my name out if you want. I don't mind. Yeah, Adam. Um, yeah, instead of calling me Billsy, you know, so so Sheree doesn't feel left behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but Billsy is your name. It's your yeah, last no, name. it's not like he's calling me Sheree. He's calling me ABC. Yeah. Fine. So thank you, Aussie Brick Chick, for being my co-host. Thank, being thank you, Miss Patrick. Here. <laughs> <laughs> can we watch it? Can we? Can, can you? I want to see a brother sister fight. Go on, hit him. <laughs> Is that the right side? <laughs> Pull the hair out. <laughs> all, all, you, all you need to do is just leave some Lego on the floor. <laughs> See, the thing is that he lives a long way away from me. 150 k's away. Yeah. Holy billy. Some, hmm. people may, some people may say that's not far enough. RB, <laughs> I do live on the south side of Brisbane. Yeah, too close to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I, I can, I can um, get you with my um, elbow. <laughs> oh, lucky you said elbow. Elbow. Green. Um, Benzie's in between us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's breaking Pick up. In the middle. Line. Pass it on. <laughs> I can't see what's happening. He, he, he's passing it on both ways. <laughs> okay, so we've said thank you, everybody. Thank, yep. thank you, everybody, for joining us in the live chat. It's been hilariously fun. Look at that serious thought from RRB. Mm-hmm. Which one? <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you for coming along. Thank you for um, everyone who actually watched the beginning of the show and know all the information about being my eighth year of this channel. And thank you for all the good words. And all the likes and the subscribes. (laughs) Yeah, like, subscribes. 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 Um, (laughs) <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to, to R- RRB, RRB <laughs> and um, ABC if you haven't subscribed to those two. Actually, I don't know where they will be on your side. <laughs> um, especially, yeah. R- especially RRB. Yeah, we love. I love all my subscribes. What's what's she count up to that this week, RRB? I don't know. I haven't looked for ages. <laughs> hey, hey, RRB, RRB, all your base are belong to us. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I belong to us. <laughs> Subscribes. And guys, I won't be here on Friday, so don't forget to go over to ABC's <laughs> channel <laughs> and be there at 10 p.m. Queensland Eastern Standard Time. Yes. 
And she'll be chatting along with some of her cool friends about Lego of some but sort. Because you, you suck. I mean, because you won't be there. Whoa. <laughs> no, because he, because he won't be there because markets are more important than his sister. I got work. You, yeah. you can you can tell these two are siblings. <laughs> I'm the youngest one. She's the oldest one. Yeah, and I'm the most immature. Same 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 people. Some people get all the perks. Mm. All right, this is the longest goodbye ever. Okay. okay, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for coming inside the Brickbox Lego Community News. Thank you for celebrating the tenth show. Um, I don't know what will be on the 11th because we don't know what will be in the news. We might have the official pictures of what is coming out in the new year. So uh, keep your eyes out that. If you're interested in knowing what's the item, do a search on, online. You'll find it. Until then, guys, keep on building, and we'll see you in the next Inside the Brick Box LEGO Community News. See ya. Bye. See ya. Subscribes. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribes.